Good morning, guys. Today we're heading to Macau. My face morning. is so bloated. Yeah, Macau. <laughs> We're having breakfast at Katsuya, which is a Japanese restaurant. The Hong Kongers do Japanese food pretty well, so let's try it out. This, that, 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 this, that. Here's the menu. I love how big it is. Look at that. It looks so good. Woo! Whole bunch of delicious Japanese cuisine. What you gonna get, Kim? Like said, everything. <laughs> Yo, they love their big menus. What is that? Eel and egg served on a hot plate set. I'm going straight for that. Comes with rice and soup. Looks. Oh, what? Ooh, deep fried pork on the edge. Oh, I don't know. Oh, but not too many options now. Oh. So I couldn't decide between the two of them. They're both looking really good. So I think I'll just have to get it all. Good yeah? idea. We're getting both. Yes. What are you getting? I'm getting the deep fried shrimp and chicken cutlet set, and then the udon bowl. Nice. Good choices. Oh, what? Oh, and that too? No, no, I'm getting oh, this right. one with the tartar sauce. This one already has rice. Oh, okay. Cool. And this one, this one has... Yeah. Are you sure we have deep fried chicken? Does it have rice? Yes. Here's what I ordered, two bowls. I think I went a little bit too crazy, but whatever. Yum. <laughs> Waiting for your food. Sad, sad. And here's what Delena got. Yay, let's dig in. Holy cow. If you're craving Japanese food in Hong Kong, definitely recommend this restaurant. Yeah. It's a really good katsu. And the Japanese food is quite authentic here, surprisingly. Mm, I didn't think I'd say this, but it's almost on the same level, if not on the same level as some Japanese restaurants. Hong Kong really do know how to make their Japanese food. Incredible I'm chef. Amazed. Good work. I'm amazed and happy and satisfied. Let's go to Macau. Let's We're about to board on our way to Macau. So we finally boarded the ferry. No drama, it's made it by about one or two minutes. So a lot of fun and I've never experienced anything like this before so really cool you reckon you're gonna get seasick should be all right swaying a little bit our friends are over here hello should be good she's not even talking so I'll take that as a yes so tickets cost about $30 Australian each and it takes 45 to an hour to get to Macau very exciting she don't feel too good though. Poor girl. <sighs> That's a dinosaur hand.
Can't wait. Two nights. Two nights, three days. Monkey. Two nights, three days. Yes. <laughs> Executive suites. Mm, cool. Let's see what our room looks like. Room tour guide. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, Instagram photo. This is really Instagram pretty. Shot. Yeah. Instagram. Instagram. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Here is our kitchen wow, area. Our kitchen. We can make Pringle noodles. They've got a nice sink. Wow. Is that oh my microwave? god. Wait, is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's down here. Oh, babe, look. What? Is that a washing machine? Wait, is it? Is that, is that a dryer? Yes, a wash? it's a washing machine and a dryer. Yes, it's so you can wash and dry clothes. Oh, there's a bin. You can sleep there tonight if you want. Wow, if, if I wanted to, <laughs> yeah. And guys, check out our living room. That is so pretty. Look at that view. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Looking so comfortable Do there. Do I look like a queen? I love the art here. I want to check out the room Let's go. We have a separate room here for our bed. Ooh. Oh my god, it's big! <laughs> That's nice. This is a huge bed. Yeah. That's nice. I love that. Oh! Yeah, work that kill. Looking like a lunch pack. <laughs> a lunch pack. <laughs> Such a nice room. What's in here, guys? Oh yes, it is test time. Test Every time. oh, impressive. Lights up when you open the doors. Cool, but what kind of slippers do you have in there? This treasure box. It will prove. Oh, nothing. Mm. Oh! oh! Okay. Nothing Enticing here. us? Teasing Nothing us? Here. There's another one here. You prove to us, Ascot, that you oh. are an absolute beauty. Look. Oh, these are really nice. Not even plastic. Oh. Got their brand Got name their brand on the there. packaging. Just feeling it. It's like so squishy. Oh. I feel like I could sleep inside this slipper. Oh. oh. Is that suede? That's is that, nice. Is that cashmere? Wow. So, <laughs> anyway guys, there you go. That's how you know if a hotel is bloody damn good. Check out the slippers. All right, bathroom time. Walking oh in. My God. Oh, bathtub. Look at that. This is beautiful. Wow, two Ooh. sinks. Marble. I love oh, that. My makeup mirror. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, toilet. Nice. And then you've got. That's a big shower head. <laughs> that is one big shower head. Wait, Wait, so then when you're in the toilet, you can watch me shower. Yeah. All oh, right. You're right. So I'm just here showering and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> All right, let's do the bathtub test. Does bathtub it fit test. one potato or two potatoes? We shall see. We shall what see. is this? What is, what is this? Oh. Is this just a mirror? Why, Why is, is there it? a light in there? Is this just a mirror? <laughs> it's recording us. It's recording us. <laughs> it's a 
<laughs> you better, oh, it's just a mirror. You oh. better watch out and recording your sexy ass while you take a bath. I'm sure there are instructions. Ooh. No way. Is oh that a remote God. control? Is that is that a remote control? <laughs> Do, don't wait. Oh, you turned blue. It's a TV. You turned blue. You don't know if it's TV. It is. It has to be. Where's the screen? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That is the craziest oh thing my God. I have ever seen in my life. This is actually the craziest thing ever. There's a bloody TV. I can't believe there's a TV right here. And look how spacious this bathtub yeah. is. It's really spacious. It's so spacious. Stop! Pretty good. You get to watch your Chinese dramas here. Have a bath, a nice bubble bath. Yeah. That, that definitely fits two potatoes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Great stuff, guys. Well, there you go. The Ascot Hotel, a very nice room, well, big TV, out. great, beautiful bed. You've got two separate rooms with so much beautiful artwork, the wallpapers, the design. I'm really feeling everything about this room. The view is spectacular. Such a nice room, guys. If you're ever in Macau, make sure you check out the Ascot. Love it, babe. Love it. <gasps> Yay! I can't wait to sleep here. All right, but first we got to eat. Yeah. <gasps> This is where we're eating our first meal in Macau. We're doing it right. Jolly Bee. Yes! Ooh, so yes! yes. <laughs> so today I found out that Kelvin hates squeaky noises. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's raining. Come on, Macau. You want me to gamble? Want me to go indoors? Back at the hotel because it's raining, guys. Ah, oh, look at it. You want to see some magic? Shin Lim! Shin Lim! Oh, there you go. Some Shin Lim shit. All right, let's discover Macau today, guys. So, guys, the savage levels of the people in Macau would have to be nine out of 10. Listen, the people here are quite rude. I think it's because of all the tourists. It's mainly because of the tourists, a lot of mainland Chinese, a lot of creepers actually. They love staring. They really love staring at, at Delaina. There's only people staring at us right now. Yeah, they're like. And they won't stop staring. It's like that bad to the point where I'm like, all right, man. It's not you even got, to me. You gotta chillax. It's dude. when you hold the camera up as well. People just full on stare. Yeah. My first meal in Macau is right here. They sell pork buns or pork sandwiches. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks good. So here it is. It's actually a pork chop in, what is that, is that a pineapple bun? Well, there you go. So you got pineapple bread, a pork, it's just a pork chop. It's straight up a pork chop. Nice amount of fat on this pork. Looks really good. That was really nice. The pork meat is really soft. You got that fatty skin on the outside. Pineapple bread is decent, adds a little sweetness. Overall, a nice snack to have in Macau. Do you get any sauce in it or is it just a pork chop? Is it marinated with anything? In some juices, a bit of pepper, that's yeah. it. Nice and simple. Mm. So we're at Ma 
Margaret Cafe and we're going to try out the very popular Portuguese tarts. Yay! Yay. A line so long! I know, so hopefully it's really good. It feels so nice already. The pastry is gonna be so good. It's I already know. It's like very soft, crumbly pastry. It smells really good. It's just good. gonna fall apart, and it smells amazing. Are you so ready? I take a bite. Yes. <laughs> it's so hot. Take two. Okay. okay, we are back. Okay. Hold on a bit. Good. Take your time. Don't want to burn the roof of your mouth. Take three. <laughs> mm. How is it? That's so delicious. Oh, really? Ooh, ooh. She's just nibbling on it. <laughs> Yum, the custard is delicious and the pastry is so good. I mean, the line here is absolutely out of control right now. It just keeps piling and piling. Oh, yeah, How is it? I can totally eat a whole pack to myself. This is delicious. Really? Um, I told you it was so hot. Okay, so the egg tarts for me, um, it's not bad. It's more on the salty side, which I'm not a big fan of. I prefer sweet over salt. But the pastry itself is extremely buttery, very crispy. Everything melts pretty well in your mouth and you have a great time. It's pretty dang good, but I prefer a sweet egg tart over a savory. It is sweet though. It is sweet, but it's more salty for me. Or maybe it's just too hot and I can't taste anything. I think, I think it's too hot, burnt my mouth, and all I taste is my skin peeling off. It's really buttery and I get what you mean with the salty. As, as soon as you bite into it, you get a bit of the saltiness on the outside. But yeah. when you eat the custard on the inside, it's really sweet and delicious. That is true too. That is true. So make sure you guys try out Margaret's Portuguese egg tarts here in Macau. Mm. God damn, babe, you were not joking. You're finishing them all. <laughs> so when in Macau, you've got to gamble at least once. So I'm putting 100 Hong Kong dollars on number 11. All right, watch me. Watch me quadruple, triple, whipple this thing. Yeah, boy. Casino is more, come on. 12 seconds later. Guys, I somehow freaking did it. Guys, I don't know how I did it, but the god of gamblers are looking out for me here. My goodness, so lucky. So like I said, what I did was put a, a hundred Hong Kong dollars on number 11 on the craps table and instantly won straight away. I don't, I don't know how I did it, but there you go, guys. Hello again. My friend. Having Mackie's for a snack, I've got this milk tea McFlurry. Never tried that before. And I got a present for Tom. Yeah, too bad it's not Gordon. Interesting. So it's um, milk tea with cookies inside. Very sweet, not bad. And on the beach is the golden Buddha. I thought it was a banana at first. I was like, why does Macau have a giant banana as a statue? But I understand now. Looks like, I swear, it's like a, see, it looks like a banana. And you like peel it, you peel it. <laughs> Thanks for 
cow vlog, guys. We're tired and we have a food coma. So yeah. here's my spin. Yep. And kiss. Bye. We love you.